this video and lecture, I am going to discuss what how to import CSV file inside MongoDB Compose. So let's open the MongoDB Compose, and then I am going to show the file that I am going to import. So this is inside raw data. Then here going to import this EMP CSV file. Here CSV file is there. So let's uh, open opening and using go notepad this is the data inside there so the next is let's go there here you can see URI mongodb localhost 27017 is the port number let's click on this connect now here I'm using go Adam and this here collection so there is nothing inside there so you can here add data import json or here csv files so from there you can use or you can click here import directly so when you click on this import then here you can use here the files okay so let's use this option so emp selecting here and now you can see this all are columns present there and here you can change your database or uh, here you can change the data types and MGR is there if you don't want some uh, columns then you can uncheck this one okay and uh, here int32 is there you can use int is double according to the requirements and if I scroll down here you can see this is the data that's present there so here this is so uh, ignoring the empty string so comma separated tab you can use so this options are available so comma separated that's fine click on this import now you can here see import completed 14 documents 14 rows that's imported there so this is a format here you can see so you can use so uh, this place this format and here this is the or this type of format developer kind of format data that's displaying if you want then you can do some changes also here so for changing here you can see added so let's give some value so this is so blank is here let's give some values click on this update so this is updated here and after that this is copy this is clone and this is for delete option or available now there after here you can see aggregate option is there so create new save this is a schema and here let's go on this uh, document after that the next is so if you want then you can explain so here return 14 rows execution times you can show or see in this row data there so if i scroll down here you can see so this is a find taste this all and here 14 rows return this is taken only 0 millisecond execution times and 14 rows there okay so let's close this one so now this time going to use uh, this option add data import so here this is so uh, let's uh, select other file name file one and three columns are present there so I stop on errors and here comma separated you can use tab format also so when you click on this tab format this all columns that's or comes into one so this is not a good idea semicolon this all that's come one places spaces so so let's use your comma say here three columns that's are uh, separated there after that click on this import so here you can see this is the data that's present there this is the id so index that's created on this id field okay so this is how we can import any files inside mongodb compass 
After that, you can generate the query. You can write the query according to your requirement. So I hope guys, this video is the helpful for you. So now this video is over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.